Take a look at some of the most beloved cartoon characters next to their real-life counterparts. Number 1 is the giant crab Tamatoa, who isn't so far off from the real-life crustacean. Both have big claws. Tamatoa from Moana is a larger-than-life crab covered in treasure, and he's based on the very large coconut crab. Found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, this giant crustacean uses its massive claws to crack open coconuts. Although not quite as huge as Tamatoa, the coconut crab typically weighs around 10 pounds. In the second spot, we have Squidward. Despite his name and only having six tentacles, Squidward Tentacles from SpongeBob SquarePants is an octopus. It was revealed by the creator Steven Hillenburg that Squidward is an octopus and he has fewer tentacles because it makes him easier to animate. His large, bulbous head closely resembles that of an octopus, but that's about where the similarities between the two end. The next character is Roadrunner, a speedy bird constantly outrunning his nemesis Wile E. Coyote, and is known for his classic meep meep call. The same name's real-life bird is a bit smaller than the cartoon, and they typically have brown and white feathers, unlike their blue and purple cartoon kin. Roadrunners can be found running alongside roads like their name suggests, marking a similarity between the real animal and the cartoon. Next is the perpetually gloomy stuffed donkey Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, who doesn't exactly look like his real-life counterpart. Eeyore doesn't have hooves like a real donkey, but both creatures have pretty large ears. Both animals can be gray with a dark mane, but donkeys aren't quite as cuddly as Eeyore. In reality, many rely on donkeys to carry heavy loads over mountains and large stretches of land. Now let's talk about the classic video game character Sonic the Hedgehog. He's known for his bright blue fur and super fast speeds. Real hedgehogs are brown and covered in prickly spines. And even though hedgehogs can run a few miles per hour, they're not known for breaking the sound barrier. Pumbaa's love for eating insects isn't a typical warthog trait. One half of the Lion King comic duo, Pumbaa is a warthog with a passion for eating insects with his buddy Timon, a meerkat. Real warthogs are grazers who eat plants and roots and battle against insects from biting their skin. They rely on birds to eat those insects and hide in the mud to escape the biting bugs. The next character is a trusty sidekick and comic relief. Sven, the reindeer from Frozen, is a close representation of reindeer. Sven's characterization is spot on with his dark to light gradient fur, large antlers, and fuzzy hooves. However, Sven doesn't really act like a reindeer. It would be unusual to see a reindeer separated from its herd, and they don't tend to have dog-like personalities. Next is Wes Anderson's sly, fantastic Mr. Fox, a protagonist who shares many features with the real-life Red Fox he was based on. Red foxes are mainly found across the Northern Hemisphere, and they're the largest species in the true fox genus. According to National Geographic, the breed is resourceful, a trait that Mr. Fox also shares, and tends to adapt to human environments easily. Another character we're going to add to the list is Judy Hopps. She's a little more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed than most rabbits. Zootopia is full of civilized animals, big and small, including Officer Judy Hopps. The cartoon's European rabbit is certainly a little more rounded out and humanized than her real-life counterpart. However, Judy does have the rabbit's characteristic long ears and short, fluffy tail. In the wild, European rabbits tend to be fairly social animals, a trait Judy also shares. They're known for being territorial, which could explain Judy's passion for protecting Zootopia. Kung Fu fighting, dumpling loving Panda Po isn't a replica of his real life counterpart, but he does share some key features. Real panda bears tend to munch on bamboo, unlike Po, who usually has a taste for dumplings. The giant panda is native to China and is characterized by its black and white fur, particularly the black circles of fur around its eyes. Actual pandas eat a diet primarily consisting of bamboo, not dumplings, so Poe would probably have a hard time with that. Like Poe, they do eat a lot, typically between 26 and 84 pounds of bamboo a day. Now let's talk about Cusco. Emperor Cusco from The Emperor's New Groove was turned into a llama by his evil advisor Yzma, which is fitting seeing as the film takes place in Peru, where llamas are plentiful. Although Cusco's llama form does share the characteristic long neck and snout with the actual animal, 
he doesn't look very realistic. That may be because he spends most of the movie standing and sitting in very human-like manners. Llamas are said to be gentle, shy, and friendly, which is a bit ironic seeing as Cusco is known for being arrogant and ruthless. However, the protagonist learns how to be a better emperor, friend, and all-round person throughout his journey as a llama. Although the sassy King Julian from Madagascar does share some key physical attributes with real ring-tailed lemurs, namely his striped tail, yellow eyes, and pointy ears, his behavioral traits aren't exactly based in fact. In the film, Julian is depicted as the king of Madagascar's lemurs, the native land of actual lemurs, but in real lemur groups, the females are dominant over the males. Next is Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse's friend who doesn't look all that much like the Peking duck he was molded after. However, he does have the orange bill, fluffy tail, and webbed feet of the real bird. Unfortunately for Donald, the domesticated duck breed is largely used for meat in the US, but he seems to have stood the test of time. It would be really cool and slightly terrifying if they could, but real elephants can't fly like Dumbo. Dumbo's ears are much larger than those of a real elephant. Disney's flying elephant Dumbo is said to be based on a real African bush elephant named Jumbo, born in 1860. However, the real elephant only inspired Dumbo's life story, not his physical features or flying skills. The biggest difference between Dumbo and his real-life counterpart is, unsurprisingly, his gigantic wing-like ears. Generally, African elephants have larger ears than Asian elephants, but Dumbo's are certainly over-exaggerated. That said, no real elephant has ears big or strong enough to allow them to fly. Bruce, the vegetarian great white shark from Finding Nemo, closely resembles actual sharks. One quality in particular that the movie got right is Bruce's multiple layers of teeth. However, you're not likely to come across any fish-friendly great white sharks in the ocean. And you'd also probably never see three different breeds of sharks socializing and hunting together as you do in the film. Next is a beloved turtle among all. Although the turtles were based on red-eared sliders in the original comics, in Nickelodeon's latest TV adaptation, The Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, each lead is based on a different breed. Michelangelo is supposed to be a box turtle, largely due to the breed's natural orange markings, which match Mikey's mask. Of course, none of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles look very similar to their real-life counterparts, and their pizza-heavy diet isn't authentic. They are mutants, after all. But the animators did take the time to do little things like match their iconic masks to a turtle breed with similar natural coloring. Next up is Bojack. He may resemble a thoroughbred horse, but his personality is much more human-like. The animated, self-loathing, thoroughbred Bojack Horseman does share quite a few physical characteristics with the actual horse breed, including expressive eyes and slumped shoulders. However, the fact that Bojack walks upright and wears human clothes does distract from these similarities. On the show, Bojack is a washed-up actor in his 50s. In real life, thoroughbreds are largely used for racing, retire between 4 and 10 years old, and live to be 25 to 28. Make sure you don't miss any of our videos and go check our playlists. Keep on watching!